Hey guys, it's Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. This coming Sunday is Mother's Day, so in honor of Mother's Day, I thought I would bring you the best and worst of fiction moms. I wanted to do a Mother's Day video because I am myself a mom and I love my mom and moms are always fun to read about. So rather than doing just the best of fiction moms, I have found some really nasty fiction moms. So I thought that I would share with you my best fiction moms and the worst fiction moms that I have personally read about in the last few years. So let's start off with the worst fiction moms. I've got one mom that is just absolutely awful, at least up until the point that I've read in the series so far. I'm assuming that she doesn't get any better. At least that's what I've heard anyway. And then I've got some moms that are maybe a little bit misunderstood. I personally wouldn't want them as my mother, but I can still kind of relate to the decisions that they've made. And then I've got my three favorite moms that I just think are beautiful. The first of the worst fiction moms, and I think is probably the worst, is the Commandant or Karis from An Ember in the Ashes. She is Elias's mom who is a mask and he's training in the school for masks, which are basically your evil assassins. And this woman is brutal. She is nasty. I won't talk about too many things that she does because it will spoil the book, but I think this is probably the worst mom that I have read about in maybe ever. We just finished reading this book for the Java and the Librarians book club and I'll leave a link to the live show so you can hear all about this. We talked about her in a little bit of detail during the show and it was so good. If you haven't read this book yet, I would recommend it because it's got some really dark and twisty characters. I love this book. Next up, we've got Ava from We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver. I've talked about this book a couple times on my channel as well. Kevin is a boy who uh, commits a school shooting in, and is kind of twisted, you can see, throughout childhood. And it talks about Ava and how she deals with him. And she made some really bad choices. Now, don't get me wrong, there is not a perfect mother on earth. We all make bad choices, but she hated this kid from the moment that he was born. And I'm not saying that that necessarily made him the way that he was, but it most certainly contributed to it. And she just was a nasty mother sometimes. She was just nasty. He was a nasty kid, but she was a nasty mother. And my third worst mom is Charlotte from Handle With Care by Jodie Picoult. Charlotte is a mom of a girl named Willow, and Willow has a brittle bone syndrome. And basically what happens in this story is Charlotte, because of Willow's medical expenses, is having a really hard time making ends meet. And so she decides one day that she's going to sue her OBGYN because had she known that her daughter Willow would have this syndrome, she would have had an abortion. Now this is where I say I wouldn't want her as a mom, but I can sort of vaguely relate to her. She really is trying to make ends meet for her family, but the reason that I say she's a bad mom and a bad friend, honestly, is because the OBGYN that she sues is her best friend. And during this whole story, we see how this is affecting Willow. Basically, Willow has to deal with the fact of my mom suing her best friend, number one, and number two, she's saying that she would have never had me if she had known. I'm not judging people. You know, people have their own decisions that they make for their own reasons, but me personally reading this story, it broke my heart, especially because I um, have a handicap myself. So I can really relate to Willow and how this would make her feel, but she is, sort of doing what she feels like she needs to do for her children, I guess. I don't know. But let's be real, guys. I don't like her. So let's move away from that depressing topic and talk about my three favorite fiction moms. First up, I've got Connor's mom from A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Connor's mom is sick and dying with cancer. And though we don't see all that much of her in this book, you can really see the love that she has for her son. She's teaching him lessons even in her dying moments. I thought that this was a beautiful story and a beautiful mother-son relationship, even though we don't get too much of it in the book. The same thing kind of goes for Clara's mom, Maggie, from the Unearthly Trilogy by Cynthia Hand. Clara's mom is half angel, and in the first book, we see that she's very secretive and she doesn't talk about her own personal purpose because this book is about Clara finding her purpose as an angel. Each angel is given a purpose that they need to fulfill through means of visions and what have you. And we don't hear a lot from Clara's mom in the first book and her story. In the second book, that really comes out more. She's just a cool mom. I would love to have her for a mom. I really enjoyed reading about this mother-daughter relationship. And lastly, this may surprise you because I was not a huge fan of this series, is Sally Jackson from the Percy Jackson series. 
I love Sally Jackson for the same reason that I really loved Claire's mom and Connor's mom because she constantly put her son before herself. She was in the first book in a bad relationship because she was trying to protect her son. And mothers who try to protect their children and put their children before themselves and really show love for their children like this really speak to me more than the cool fun moms. It's just the self-sacrificing mother where I can see their love for their children so much more. Alright guys, that was my really quick best and worst of fiction moms. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite fiction moms and what your worst fiction moms were. I'd love to know because I'm always looking for new stories to read, as are we all. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, I'd love it if you subscribe. I also want to wish all of you moms a happy Mother's Day. I hope you enjoy it and have a wonderful time with your kids. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time. Bye.